Hello and welcome to the mobile technology lab activity. So in this lab activity, we will learn about incorporating action bar in your application. We have action bar over here and then we have action button. And then we also have a menu. Okay, you can create menu and about activity, you can press back. Go about and press back over here. So we have a back button also. So, uh, please follow this tutorial and hopefully you can gain new knowledge in incorporating action bar and then creating an application that looks professional to the user's eye. To begin with this lab, we start with an empty view activity. So if you have already included your app bar uh, to the activity, feel free to skip this section and go directly to a section where I add a menu to the app bar. So uh, to proceed with this tutorial, I try to set up an app bar first. To set up the app bar, you only have to go to this activity main and then click the code. Okay, click the code over here. So go to this uh, tutorial by Google uh, on how to add the app bar. All right, and then click on the setup with the app bar. So what you need to do is just to copy this inside the activity, inside the activity. Okay, just like this. So at first, the activity uh, toolbar is zero. Uh, is uh, what we call it as uh, it is highlighted in red. So in order to remove the red, we have to anchor or we have to constrain uh, the app bar. So we have to constrain over here. Okay. Set the constraint. Okay. And then set uh, the constraint at the top. So it will go something like this. And then you can test the activity. Uh, whether the app bar will appear or not. Okay, and then it should appear like this. Okay, because we haven't customized the app bar yet, uh, it appear as a blank app bar. So to customize the app bar, we have to go to the main activity and then paste the code over here. The toolbar code. Okay, please ensure the location of this uh, method and then just copy the relevant code here. Okay, and then you have uh, to import the app bar. Ensure that you import the correct uh, toolbar. The toolbar, the correct one is Android X app compact widget. So that it won't uh, highlight that in red. And then make this as a class level uh, object. Okay, make this as class level object. Okay, just like this. So if this red yeah, is still highlighted in red, you have to go over here and ensure that you import the correct toolbar. That is Android X at Compact Widget Toolbar. Okay, next, what we need to do is to add the menu uh, to the app bar. Or at least you have to set the title to the app bar. To set the title to the app bar, you can go here and type here get support uh, toolbar and put here set title. Okay, and then you can put here title, uh, you can put here also string, uh, string rest, right? String rest like this R I P dot uh, R string okay dot app name okay so that it will display the app name your app name when you play uh, okay the app name is menu and app bar so when you started the application you can set it as menu and app bar or the name of your app which you can change this in change it in here in the value string value here 
can change the app name over here okay very easy so next uh, you can add the menu so to add the menu you have to go to rest and then right click over here select new and create android resource directory from here you just have to tap menu and then here you can have the directory uh, menu so right click add menu and then create a menu resource file and type your menu over here you can have the menu so to add the menu item you only have to drag a menu item over here like this so you have three menu item and then you can rename the menu item like uh, share okay and then this one you can uh, add about uh, uh, settings okay for example like settings and then another one you can write it about and then you can uh, customize the id of the menu so you can put your item underscore share so it is good uh, practice to put a menu item as item share underscore okay so that you can easily identify the id as menu items so here you uh, type a click okay item about okay next uh, you may have to set a functionality or have to add the menu or inflate the menu to the app bar so to do that you have to go to the main activity and go to this uh, tutorial by google so add menu so when you scroll down okay you don't have to create the xml file over here because we have already create the menu using uh, the gui what you need to do is just to copy this java source code and then uh, create a new um, method under this class we call it menu inflator so do not forget to import the class okay import the class and then because uh, our menu names menu and then put your menu then we can test the application here we have menu and then uh, you can also create share as a action button over here so to create uh, an action button what you need to do is go to the menu okay click here on the share and then you can create a show as action you click on the flag and then put here if room and then put apply and then the uh, share menu is available on the action bar and then you can also set it as an icon okay, click on the photo here and type here share so here you click here and then the share menu is over here so if you rerun back you can have a share icon over here and then the menu item over here it's look uh, almost professional right now right next uh what you need to do is uh, give up uh, the functionality or make the item uh, being listened uh, from the menu activity so to do that you uh, have to refer back to the tutorial and then copy it so you can use switch or you can use if so you can uh, use this or if so if you have already um, familiar with if or else you can use if or else or else uh, you can uh, copy this and use a uh, switch okay switch so either way it is uh, easy and simple right okay so let's say that uh, we have created uh, else if and else so do not forget to import menu item okay you can just return uh, on menu item selected or just uh, return uh, false okay you can just return false over here okay you can uh, use if item dot get item id equals to r id 
share item share so you can have uh, item share over here you can uh, return true if you want okay what you can type here is whatever you want to do the item share uh, share uh, we created so you can create a shareable uh, intent you can create a new intent okay uh, share intent uh, new new intent uh, intent dot action send all right okay don't quite uh, forget to import the intent and then you can put your share intent uh, set type as a text plane and then share intent uh, put extra okay put extra intent extra text okay you put here okay please use my app application so we can here put your tco app. <laughs> okay uh, you can put here some uh, url okay for example okay this is just for example you can start activity okay sorry start activity with the intent okay intent create chooser so target would be share intent Okay, comma now okay okay and then you can test the menu uh, whether it is working or not you can click over here and then you start uh, an intent so you can send it uh, testing and send it to the website okay it has a preview okay okay just like this to promote your application something that to promote your application all right okay next uh we can also add uh, the functionality okay functionality to the application example functionality to the application is that we can create a new about page okay, a new about page so you have to create a new activity so creating a new activity is simple Mm, what you need to do is go to this under here okay menu and app right click over here and add a new activity you can always create an empty view activity we can put here about okay about activity okay you can also add the toolbar uh, at the about activity so to add the toolbar you only have to copy the toolbar from here from the code but you have to alter the id so you go to the activity main toolbar copy it but you have to paste it but change the id so id is my toolbar you have to change it to about toolbar so that the id won't clash then you uh, click back at the design okay the toolbar is already here okay okay hopefully you can get it okay, next you go to the about activity over here so you can have a uh, toolbar okay you can type toolbar okay toolbar and then uh, you have to type uh, about okay about toolbar Okay, and then you have to type your find view by id r dot id about toolbar all right and then put here about toolbar cool. and then you put here set okay Sub set support toolbar about toolbar right okay next uh you have to use get support action bar set title about okay about. okay afterwards you go to the main activity okay and then we have to create a, a menu uh, for linking this uh, activity to the main activity so put here else if okay item 
dot get item id equals to r dot id dot item about okay item about so then you start an intent okay okay about intent new intent okay this comma about activity dot class okay very simple and easy to do and then you just type start activity about intent yeah. okay sorry about intent okay next let's see if it's working okay click over here okay click about so you can have an about okay about um and about activity and then you can click back okay about activity and then you can click back okay, this one is functioning and then this one is also functioning so uh what missing is the back uh, action button so if you look back uh, i think our action button over here uh, sorry our action bar under about over here is missing back so you cannot uh, go back to the previous activity so this is very uh unfriendly for the user because uh most modern uh, android devices do not ha no longer have the virtual uh, back button at the bottom over here so what you need to do is to create a back button for your activity so to create a back button uh, for your activity uh, for your about activity you have to go uh, to about and then you have to create a uh, type over here get support action toolbar and then set uh, show home enable true and then get support action toolbar set uh, uh, get uh, support action toolbar uh, set home uh, as about okay display home as up enable okay true so uh please ensure that you have both of these item right please uh, hope that you have uh both of these item so um afterwards what you need to do is just to create a, a menu uh, to handle the back button over here to create menu to handle a back button over here is uh uh, public uh, public void sorry public void on main uh, option on options item options item selected okay sorry uh, public boolean okay okay public boolean on option item selected then you have to type here switch or if item dot get, get item equal okay home okay like this and then what you need to do is just type super dot on back press okay like this okay so it is uh already deprecated right okay what you need to do is probably we have to use another activity that would replace this part for this moment just use super on back press and then try to rerun back okay sorry uh re missing return statement you have to type in return over here okay return true okay for the boolean okay press about and then you have a back button okay back button all right okay this is uh just a tutorial for you to create uh and uh, menu so what we have learned here is to create a menu and then action button over here then the menu okay for the color you can also customize the color okay like i've already shown on the previous tutorial to customize the color you can customize it in teams and then colors okay here i'm going to show you how to customize the color okay customize your light theme over here so you can 
uh, uncomment here color primary okay color primary dark okay let's say that you're using a uh, dark okay and then color primary okay you can put here item name okay text color primary so you can put your color uh, slash white so to do this uh, you uh, have to recreate the color definition okay color definition in the color here okay the color def color here color definition okay okay rgb okay let's say that we have a uh, use a uh, red red color so red color can be an aa 0000, 000 and then a lighter color okay lighter color would be uh, would be ff uh, ff 3333 okay. should be uh, enough so we can rerun the application back and see our application okay in this color so you have an accent and it has a customized color so uh, i think that's all for uh, our lab today so uh, for our lab today we have learned about how to create a menu and app bar and then also set uh, about okay about and then how to set uh, an application with a menu item a menu item like this so be seeing you in the next lab session